Jeremiah, I'm behind the gloves, I'm joined with Khaled Ali. I'm looking at your face, I can't see no greys or anything. Was that an easy fight for you? Uh, respectfully, I just, he just wasn't on my level. And I believed that going into the fight, I was relaxed going into the fight, and my skills proved that. So, I think my performance answers your question. The knockout was br brutal. Did you expect it to go, go out down on it? Evie, he was going out in the first, out in the second. It was one or two. I would have broke him down eventually. Um, I believe in myself in that sense. I'm going to break him down, close the gap. I learned that from my last fight. So he was going in the first, he was going in the second. I overheard you saying there's no extra play for overtime. But does that not mean sometimes you don't get to get the rounds in? Yes, I know. But look, I put in countless rounds in, in the gym. But 200, 300 rounds. So what's an extra six rounds in there? Or four rounds, whatever. Nah, I didn't pay for overtime. I think I learned a lot in my last fight. I went six rounds, and it paid off. What challenge would you say you need in your next fight to sort of take you to the next step? Um, I leave that to Andy Allen and Frank Warren. You know, I don't know nothing. I, I just, I just. <laughs> just wonder. <around. laughs> I just listen to Andy Allen and Frank Warren. You know, I don't know nothing. I'm a cub in the game. It's very important to stay humble and, 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 and stay relaxed, you know, listen to Andy Allen, listen to Frank Warren and look, the, the, wherever I'm meant to get to, I get to, but it's just important to listen to Andy Allen and Frank Warren. Do you sit down and watch boxing fights from a technical perspective or not really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I watch boxing all the time. I live in brief boxing. I love it. That's all I have. That's all I have. So I watch a lot of Southpaws, Rinky Wright, Marvin Hagler, you know, aggressive Southpaws because yeah. That's my style, you know? Um, I'm a big boxing fan. And, and i got a long way to go. You know, i got a long way to go. I'm just happy with my performance. I get to be happy now because I put in the work. But yeah, I'm just happy. With that being said, we've got the monstrous fight today. Arthur Bateria versus Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard is taking the shot of greatness. I overheard you saying you, you give Anthony Yard a very good chance and you want him to win. I think a lot of the British public are behind him. How does he beat Bateria tonight? Makes it a firefight. Killer be killed. Marvin Hagler versus Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns was a bad man. Marvin Hagler was a bad man. Someone's got to die in that ring. I don't mean it in that sense, but someone's got to go down, you know. And, and hey, when it's a firefight, one shot changes it. Does this fight go 12 rounds or is it stopping in the distance? Absolutely not. It, it doesn't go 12 rounds. It goes three, three rounds or four rounds. With Yard, punching punch power is something we know he's got. Um, in terms of boxing, do you think tonight he needs to mix the boxing with the punching power? Nah, just kill him. Just kill him. Just blitz him. Why are you going to box someone that hits so hard? Blitz him. Kill him. <laughs> so, final prediction, Anthony Arkeo? Yeah. Yard KO. Someone's getting KO'd. Someone is getting KO'd. Thanks, hey, Fight Fans. It's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this little icon right here. Or else.